you go? Have you been with Dr. Levin this whole time? He wanted to observe me for a while. I should have called. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. So, what does he think? Well, we had a long session, and he tried to get Tess our best to emerge, and they didn't. You're still integrated? He seems to think so. You don't? Ford was attacked, and I was there, and I was provoked. Okay, and you told Dr. Levin all of this. You said that, that Ford tried to have sex with you, and that brought back Mitch trying to rape you. You said all And that. I pushed him off me, and I got out of there. Yes, I told him everything, and he seems to think that I had nothing to do with the attack. That's great. I knew you didn't do it. Jess, hey, this is good news, right? I don't know, Kelly. I'm not sure. Being Ford is really a bad idea. He took advantage of you. He used you. But if I see him, I might remember what happened. You know, I, I have a blank spot in my memory from when I thought he was Mitch till I got home and found Brody's medal. It's going to come back to you, all of it, but you're going to have to give it some time. What if I tried to kill him? Okay, you said it yourself. He used me. I could have flipped out. Kelly, it's happened before. Jessica, I'm telling you, you have to leave this alone. I can't. I can't. I am no good to Brody or Bree with this hole in my memory. I have to find out what happened. All right. But I'm going with you. Okay. What? I, I appreciate you coming with me, but I can talk to Ford alone. I know. You can, which means I'm still going in with you. Kelly. No, come on. Just as backup. Jessica, you are my best friend, which is why I also want to tell Ford exactly what I think of him. Look, I'm a lover. I can do this. I, I need to do this. Hey, Jess. Hey. hey Kelly. Did you come see Ford? Why would she be here to see Ford? is here for a doctor's appointment. I'm checking on Ford for the sun. But I'm really happy that I ran into the two of you. Actually, especially you, Leah. I wanted to congratulate you on your engagement. And I, I just wanted to say how sorry I am about how I acted trying to break you two up. I, I wasn't myself. Jess, come on. We told you we understand. And you were impossible. <laughs> but Christian and I are getting married, and you and Brody are back together. So it's all good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Later. Bye, guys. Bye. Jessica, hi. Who's who's your beautiful friend? Hello. Kelly Kramer and Jessica's best friend. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I can't say the same. Jessica told me what you did to her the night of the prom. So when you get out of here, you are to go nowhere near her. Is that clear? What, what do I have to apologize for? She wanted to lose her virginity. Kelly, Shut Kelly, up. Kelly, Kelly, stop. Stop. Jessica would like some answers. To what? I didn't do anything to you that you didn't ask me to do first. Yes. Did I do this to you? She came on to me. Thorne, I'm not accusing you of anything. I, I just need some answers. Okay? I, I, after I pushed you off me, what happened? Did I hit you? You seriously don't remember? I had kind of a, a breakdown when I was with you. I thought that you were someone else, and I don't remember anything until I got home. So please, can you just tell me what happened? Hmm. I already told McBain I don't remember who attacked me. It's okay. It's okay. You also didn't tell John that Jessica was with you that night. So why is that, Ford? Are you feeling guilty about what you did to her? Oh, I'm not the one who's guilty. But I pushed you away. I didn't... I didn't attack you. I left, right? Whatever you say. No! I need you to tell me. I need to know the truth. He is playing with you, Jessica. No, please. But he, he knows. I know. Please, tell me what happened. He's not gonna tell you. Let's go. Let's go. Take a breath. He knows something. Yeah, how to get to you. He is pushing your buttons. This is all a part of his game. You didn't do this. He said I was guilty. He looked right at me. 